Welcome to the next episode of the DJI Film School at the World Rally Championship. In this video, we want to give you some tips on how to fly a drone at a rally. We also want to talk about the composition of the various types of shots. When planning your shots, always keep the editing in mind. Make sure to allow enough time at the beginning and at the end of each shot. Start to move slowly and when you see the car, ease into the movement. Timing is everything. Try to avoid panning and pitching the gimbal at the beginning. Rather let the car drive into the frame. Also try placing the car in one third of the frame while moving towards the other two thirds. This composition technique is known as the rule of thirds. Let the car pass through the frame and briefly linger in the landscape to end the shot. Smoothly ease out of the movement. Try heading towards the horizon, for example. Don't try to follow the car for too long. Let it exit the frame at some point. We usually use 12 to 45 mm lenses depending on the shot and the look we want to create. Remember that the X5S camera has a 2 times crop factor so a 12mm micro four thirds lens becomes a 24mm lens. Finding the right focal length is something that requires some practice. Do some test flights before the race to rehearse the camera movement. This will help you to get a feeling for each lens. Sometimes we switch lenses while swapping the batteries if we feel that a different focal length would help getting a better or different shot. There are countless types of shots. You're only limited by your imagination and, of course, safety concerns. A tracking shot is one of the classics. Follow the object in the frame by flying next to it at the same speed. If you track the car from the side, a longer lens works nicely here to transfer the speed of the action. A follow shot involves flying behind the object. A reverse shot requires flying in front of the object. For those two shots, a shorter focal length works best if you want a more dramatic look. Always maintain a safe distance between the drone and the car. Make sure to fly at a safe angle and height. To give the editor the opportunity to create a dynamic edit, it's always nice to have a variety of shots he can choose from. For example, you can try an orbit shot, which is when you circle around the object. Top down is another good shot that gives you the opportunity to show a different perspective. The medium focal length works well here. You can either track the car or add a rotation while tracking simultaneously. For more variety and a fast paced edit, also capture some pass through shots. Here the object simply passes through the frame without any traffic. With a drone you can also mimic a crane. The camera starts out close to the ground and then moves up in a crane like motion. Try to avoid too many changes in the flight direction. Keep it simple. The Inspire 2 offers three different flight modes. You should choose the right mode according to your personal preferences and the specific shot you want to execute. The position mode is great for shots where you have to keep a precise flight path or hover over one spot. This is useful for a crane or top shot for example. The sport mode provides higher speed and acceleration, but it's harder to control the drone precisely because of the high agility. Use this mode if you want to follow a car at full speed. If you like the movement to fade out softly, the attitude mode is a great choice. Here the drone does not stop abruptly if you return the sticks to a neutral position. In the next episode, we talk about how to set up and operate the camera gimbal. If you have any questions, just leave us a comment below.